Now it's a new era for Arizona today. Governor-elect Katie Hobbs takes the oath of office to become Arizona's 24th governor. She's also the first Democratic governor in the state since 2009. ABC 15's Amelia Fabiano live for us now explaining how this transfer of power will work today. Hey, good morning. Yes, yeah, so it will happen in a private ceremony today here at the state capitol as Hobbs formally takes over for Doug Ducey. And I will say there's already eight on crews out here this morning. They tell me they're putting up uh, barricades for the inauguration events happening this week. So they're out here dark and early getting this all set up. Then a public inauguration is set for Thursday. The delay there because today is technically considered the New Year's holiday. Hobbs, of course, is our outgoing Secretary of State and was also previously a legislator who rose to be the top Democrat in the Senate as governor. She'll now have to work with the House and Senate narrowly controlled by Republicans here in Arizona. The new legislature convenes for the very first time next week. She's also going to have several big statewide challenges to tackle. Phoenix has some of the nation's highest inflation levels. Housing costs have soared. Our water supply also constrained by drought. Hobbs narrowly defeated Republican Carrie Lake, a former TV news anchor who was backed by former President Donald Trump. And she's also going to be the fifth woman to be Arizona governor. Also formally taking office today, Democrats Adrian Fontes as Secretary of State taking over for Katie Hobbs and Chris Mays as Attorney General. Also, <coughs> excuse me, Republicans Kimberly Yee as state treasurer and Tom Horn as state superintendent of public instruction. Nick. That's an entire new administration taking over in all of our state offices. Amelia, it's an important day. Thank you for that update.